let me tell you a story, a tale of incels and Lucas Werner. Briefly covering both topics, I will link a much more in-depth dive into Lucas Werner in the pinned comment, just so you can see how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is Lucas Werner, an undefined incel who uploads an ungodly quantity of quote-unquote content to his YouTube channel that features portrait-filmed vlogs where he often discusses and explains why his 40-year-old neckbeard self should be issued a state-sponsored girlfriend. But not any woman will do, you see, ladies and gents. Oh, no, 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 no. Lucas Werner supports Bernie Sanders, who I now believe is out of the race to the White House, but he supports him for two reasons. Lucas has chosen democratic socialism, which, of course, naturally, he doesn't understand at all because he thinks that not only will the state initiate a new form of welfare that will allow him to obtain a girlfriend, but he supports, or rather supported, Bernie in particular because, and get this, interracial coupling increased during the Obama administration. Now, I don't know if that's true. If so, ladies, I'm glad that you can appreciate a caramel-coated man such as myself, but because he believes this, he thinks in his twisted little incel mind that relationships between Gen Z or just, shall we say, younger ladies and older men will increase drastically, thus giving him a better chance at obtaining his ideal woman. The only Generation Z adults, the only Generation Z in totality, the adults 18 to 24 and 2040, you see a lot of interracial relationships. You might look at that and you say, well, okay, that's, that's inference. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, but that's all post-Obama. Like, there were intergenerational or, and interracial relationships before Obama, but you'll notice that the interracial relationships surged after Obama. So... Bernie Sanders is uniting people that are 60 years younger than him. And it often gets called an interracial, intergenerational coalition. Why can't Gen X date Gen Z without being harassed? You do see a lot of it, though. You see more of it. You see a lot of guys that are like my age or older dating women that are like 18 to 24. You don't see it a lot, but you do see it now a little more often than other times. Which seems to be any female between the ages of 18 and 24. Although, oddly enough, this is an increase in age. After all, he used to be rather fond of his 16-year-olds. In fact, he once tried to justify lowering the age of consent purely based on that, because Japan was so advanced as a society, this was somehow due to the age of consent being lower. Yep, you heard that right, folks. It kind of reminds me when the absolute dribblers in the alt-right hold Japan upon this pedestal, using it as a justification for an ethnostate. Never mind that Japan has major problems like an alarming amount of mental health issues across the board, a third of all single women live in poverty, aging population, massive child abuse problems, declining birth rate, the rapid collapse of agricultural and rural areas, and not to forget, We've all seen those videos of train station staff literally shoving commuters into trains. I mean, come on. That said, anime is amazing, and it's an industry that's growing exponentially right now, and I love it. But I digress. If you're a good boy or a best girl, you regularly visit twitch.tv forward slash iratealex and watch my streams over there. If you do that and have been since I started it, you'll know that I have covered Lucas Werner and incels recently. We actually had a blast, guys. Every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday from 9pm GMT, 4pm EST, shameless shills aside, link in the description. Not only have I covered our girls over there, but I rather enjoy diving into the sphere of neckbeards, nice guys, and incels. The attitudes of these people, the victimhood, the language alone is, well, colourful, shall we say. 
I have known about incels for a long time, but I never bothered to read their posts or even, for that matter, listen to the absolute lunatics that they actually are. But before we proceed, we have to make a distinction first. MGTOW and incel are not the same thing. I know this because I know MGTOW and I've made videos about them before. If you get two MGTOWs in a room and ask them to define it, you will hear two very different answers. So instead, I shall define it for them. MGTOW stands for men going their own way. They are usually men who are disgruntled with the status quo and possess a particular disdain for third wave and intersectional feminism. They have generally given up on advocating for the rights of men in places like family court and no longer push for men's mental health reform. MGTOWs can have girlfriends or partners, but generally do not marry believing marriage as an institution would only hurt them should they separate from their partner. MGTOW tend to put themselves, their well-being and their quote-unquote resources first and many choose to not have romantic relationships at all. There are more, shall we say, tasty MGTOW out there, types of MGTOW, that say some unbelievably stupid things. Sandman comes to mind, but it's not the same as an incel. An incel is a male who has become what we call black-pilled. Black-pilled meaning that they have pretty much given up on the state of society and their chances at happiness. Incel stands for involuntarily celibate, believing a romantic relationship is impossible. Unfortunately, when these men gather online, they tend to victimize each other further along with themselves. They even have their own slang terms, describing good-looking, well-to-do men as chads, for example. What is so terribly and incredibly sad about these gents is that many just need a haircut and a shower, to be honest, or a visit to the gym or therapy, and even worse in some cases, some men with mental disabilities that have the unfortunate feature of their issues of being easily manipulated can also find themselves among these forums complaining and blaming the world for their problems. There are some, some circumstances where even a self-described incel who is trying very hard, demonstrably so, continues to struggle and is unable even after going to the gym or getting a job or therapy or even coming up with ideas like state-issued girlfriends issued via welfare because they're suffering from, and I quote, sexual poverty, <laughs> uh, comparing not getting any because incels seem to conflate the naughty, naughty fun time with a long-lasting, loving relationship. In the case of Lucas Werner, well, he's a bit different in that he doesn't refer to himself as an incel, but like incels, he victimizes himself constantly by literally going out into the street and attempting to shame and guilt women for dating men within their own age range, among other things. But, if they're for Yang Gang and Bernie Sanders, why are they dating dudes in higher economic classes than ours? He was also banned from every single Starbucks for approaching a young lady, 16 years old, who had been working there with this note, which is rather hard to read, and to be honest, I'm glad of that. Of course, he mentions telomeres, which is one of his many justifications for wanting to lay with younger females. Oh, and the best bit about this? Chris Hansen, of all people, uploaded a short video issuing Lucas a warning. If Chris Hansen uploads a video telling you to behave, then stop and behave yourself. One of the many aspects of Lucas Werner that Lucas Werner just doesn't seem to understand that or he outright exists within the realm known as denial and victim land is that he is just awful. His personality is comparable to that of an out-of-date cheeseburger with no relish. Much like the uber progressives you'll often see on Twitter referring to everyone as bigots and Nazis, he also likes to play into this method of shutting down any form of criticism of his particular brand of BS. He thinks women or, well, <laughs> just anyone that criticizes him for the mental crap that he says are 
bigots, accusing them of ageism, whilst being ageist himself, of course. I find all of this rather amusing, Lucas, because um, what's bizarre about you, you support democratic socialism. You fall into the, what we would say is the progressive left which advocates tolerance, but, um... Listen, if you're a guy in Spokane and you don't have the hookup with the women, you're not going to introduce me to any women, I'm not interested in hanging out with you, faggot. Go to the gay bar. Why would I use the over for like a week in my videos? Why would I do that? Well... Same reason I use the hard N-word a couple times. Because I wanted to show you how ridiculous it sounds when you do, even when you say the soft N-word. Which of course is more acceptable, nigga. But do you have any black friends? But Lucas Werner is a pit, a rabbit hole that you can read all about or Go check out the videos I've linked down below to learn about. There are many, many examples of his downright racist, ignorant quotes and messed up behaviors. To give a tiny bit of perspective, he once compared the N-word to the word creep. Because African Americans are called such derogatory terms and because he is his own oppressed demographic and class, that's somehow the same thing, apparently. And speaking of oppressed groups, <laughs> I really just want to spend some time analyzing the kind of language you can expect from incels by reading some of their posts. If not, to just amuse myself, really. Incels, incels, incels. Come on, come on. I have been taking a cheeky look at some of your forums recently and in fact one of my mods even sent me several screenshots that i believe were archived and saved of the old incel subreddit which no longer exists because it was flagged down which to be honest i'm not in exactly a massive dis uh, ag agreement with when it comes to that you know unless they were advocating for horrible things in there obviously and thus breaking the law but come on I just really wanted to look at some of their comments so that you guys can get a real taste of the kind of mentality that some of these men have because it's absolutely shocking some of the things that they say. Here, let's take a look. Why do they hate us? A day ago, this jock bully normies that despise us executed their latest blow in the campaign of oppression and hatred. They have been carrying out against we innocent non-violent incel men. They thought they could take our sub. They cannot take our dignity! <laughs> they thought they could silence me. They were wrong! Like the phoenix, I have arisen from the ashes, born anew in the frames of tyranny that were leveled against me. Like Jon Snow in the latest Game of Thrones season, I've come back stronger and more dedicated than ever to the cause of incel liberation. A message to Noro <laughs> typicals, chads, feminists, and other degenerate normie filth out there who have been crowing over your supposed victory. You have achieved nothing! But to make me more powerful than ever before, I have learned from my mistakes and will now make it impossible for you to ban me by staying firmly within the letter of the law, but still spreading my views and incel philosophy through this here side like the words of Christ himself. We, you cannot stop me. You cannot kill me. I am everywhere and nowhere. The alpha hater and the omega male survivor. We incels will have our day. The crushing sexual poverty in which we exist cannot and will not stand. 
all of your trolling, mocking us in other subs, brigading and mashing the report button like the whiny little snitches that you are, is absolutely meaningless. As you can see, we are still here. Does that anger you, normies? Do you feel a twinge of fear in your... When you realize that the incel movement hasn't been halted, but rather is gaining steam and momentum with each and every injustice you heap upon us? By all means, get angry, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, continuing invading our space with your spam and jam votes and rebellion. Words. It will do you no good. The incel revolution cannot be stopped, peasants. <laughs> Your tyranny will be overthrown. And as I have said from the beginning, there will come a reckoning. That is all. And that, sir, is why you can't find a date. You sound like one of the LARPers from Role Models. You need to behave, son. You, you, there's that guy in the movie Role Models who just can't stop LARPing. And if you, if you were a fan of Sword Art Online, a bridge, which I highly recommend to everybody because it's hilarious on YouTube, is a character there who just can't stop LARPing. And you wonder why you haven't got any friends. And you wonder why you can't establish a normal relationship, son. These people. But there's more. There's more. It's obvious that most men require sex and or romantic relationships to live in a fulfilling life. Well, no, not really, mate. Uh, <laughs> see the existence of this sub and Maslow hierarchy of needs. You know, this is one of the things that gets me about incels, man. They just feed into each other and just have all these theories and ideas. They just... Uh, unfortunately, I'm one of these men... Deprived of need, I obsess and fantasize, and I fantasize so much that suddenly everything I can experience in real life can't live up to my fantasy. I want to convince myself that I will enjoy this, or that it seems that there is a void in me, a void of intimacy, that sucks in every enjoyment and leaves me with nothing but cold disappointment and anger towards other people who are, I don't know how to say it, warm, as if they stole the heat from me. I can't admit my feelings to anyone as if my thoughts, me, aren't human. It feels like I don't belong to the world. I can't stand the isolation. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. If you is feeling like this, if you find yourself on an incel subreddit or some kind of incel forum and you are this blackpilled, get some therapy. Jesus H. Christ, man. Good Lord. First and foremost, you don't need the naughty, naughty fun time to have lead a fulfilling life. you got to stop putting it on a pedestal, dude. Because that's not what relationships are ultimately about. I mean, don't get me wrong. For most people, it is a part of it. But you know what happens when a man and a woman or a man and a man, a woman and a woman or whatever, get old after living with each other for 60 years? They ain't doing it anymore because the, the dude's giggle stick's probably given out and the lady just ain't up to it anymore. You need to be friends. You need to be a team in order to be in love. What is wrong with you people? Like, you just had the most immature, pathetic, uh, to be quite honest, just outlook on what love is. You don't feel fulfilled because you have no concept of just what a relationship actually is, what it means to be in love, what it actually means to have a positive, reinforce, uh, positive relationship with somebody else. It wouldn't surprise me if, if, like, the incels just... The only people they get on with are other incels on internet forums because their personalities are just that ugly. It's not you that's ugly, right? I can assure you with that, right? Look, look you, you, you probably get some incels that probably come and uh, look at downvote this video and give it the mouth in the chat. D do I look like a Chad to you? And if you say yes, right, I'm going to be very aggravated. Look anime you this is a youtuber's merch i'm wearing right now yeah anime shelf i mean don't get me wrong the ladies do like a uh, anime display of course but no look right broken nose messed up british teeth right 
and look at my physical being like my no matter how much weight i lose i'm still you know my torso's in front my ass is somewhere behind right i <laughs> trust me right is it's not a case of you just needing to be this oh but look, look, look look how skinny my arms are as well like i've had plenty of relationships in my life and there's a lot of people out there that hate me <laughs> i can assure you incels that um there are some ugly ass men out there who are you know pretty thick as well that probably aren't rocking a lot down there um that have managed to punch well above their weight in terms of uh, attracting a female that is way, 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 way better looking than them. Uh, and you know why that is? It's because actually not all women are shallow. Um, and that attractive qualities, things like being funny, <laughs> uh, t tend to play well, you know? If you, if you can make a lady smile, if you can make her laugh, then yeah, you never know. You never know. I can't believe I have to give this kind of advice out to people. Like, come on, get a haircut, have a shower. If if you're that like concerned about your physical appearance, go to the gym. You know what? And if you know if you can't afford to go to the gym, go look on Amazon. Right, the most famous prisoner in the UK, Charles Bronson, wrote a book telling you exactly how to you know keep fit and keep strong. With nothing but a couple of books to use on the floor to do press-ups and stuff. There's no excuse. There really isn't. And if you find yourself like me, who's you know now walking around with a cane and stuff, uh, do you know what? I'm fairly certain that if I wasn't married as I am now, that I could still go out and establish a relationship. Because I am a very loud person and i like to think that i'm quite funny and humorous and can you know, have a have a bit of a joke too and despite how i think i look you know i would still give it a go i would still give it a go but if every single woman has ever rejected you then me thinks that there is a personality problem going on there and y'all need to grow up i think because a relationship isn't just about naughty naughty fun time as i said a relationship is about being a team. It's about being a team. It's about being friends with your partner. Because you need to get on. Because if you establish a long-term relationship and you get to the point where you move in together, you need to be able to stand each other. I can assure you of that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. These people are absolutely hilarious, and I do want to cover this kind of stuff and uh, expand the, uh, the, 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 the plate of which we sit down and have a good uh, chew from on this channel. I'd like to expand the contents, and I have been trying to do that on Twitch as well. Do go follow me over there as well. We always have a good time. I am trying to grow uh, the, the, the Twitch channel. It's not about followers. It's about concurrent viewers, so you guys know when I stream... I show it all the time. Come check it out. It's always a good, fun time. Also, if you're watching this video on Wednesday, the 1st of April, then tomorrow, the Thursday, the 2nd of April, starting from 8 p.m. GMT, 3 p.m. EST, I will be conducting a charity live stream uh, for Save the Children, um, which I'll also link in the pinned comment as well. And that'll be on Twitch, and I'll be joined by people like Charlie Gold. I believe Michael B. Petty's coming. I think Omegon's coming. I also think that uh, Biggest Mike is coming. Um, there's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be a good time, guys. I'm making videos specifically to play on that live stream, including a Lord Bear video, uh, and I'm and I'm also doing things like if you donate a certain amount, then you get to wax me. I've got wax strips. So I, uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. A wheel of misfortune, if you will. But that's enough from me, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a great week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
man, if I was an incel, I just, I just use my voice, to be honest. I've seen the way that some of the ladies respond to me. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and my name is Ira Alex, and I'm currently in the market for a uh, date. I'm looking for a nice, th thick lady that enjoys anime and playing the most mundane video games you can think possible and enjoys YouTube and live streaming and things of that nature and doesn't mind a caramel colored chocolatey man. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs>